So it turns out that Lorena and Eleanor exchanged over 3,000 letters. And most of them, Lorena Hickok gave to the FDR Library in Hyde Park when she died in 1968. And Lorena, who was hick to everybody, stipulated that the letters could be opened 10 years after her death. By chance, Doris Faber was the one who first saw the letters. She had written a lot of children's books about presidents and presidents' wives. And she was horrified. <laughs> she even tried to get the library to lock the letters up again. But when they wouldn't, she decided to write a book about the relationship, playing down the passionate part of the story. So when the book came out, a lesbian publication called Big Mama Rag lamented that turning those letters over to Doris Faber was a crime akin to turning over Sappho's poems to medieval Christian theologians. <laughs> <laughs> so I realized right away that this was an opportunity to revisit a story in changed times. And here's where writing about what you can connect to came into it. So all my books, with one exception, that book about research, have been about strong, remarkable women. Karen Hornei was the first, the psychoanalyst who took issue with Freud's ideas about sexuality. Marie Curie. And even the theater book focused on a, one strong woman who was the head of the Federal Theater Project, a woman named Hallie Flanagan. So and there was another reason that I connected to this. Even though the love relationship had been floating around in the atmosphere, times had changed. And this was a story that could be embraced, even celebrated, about two women who loved and empowered each other.